All right, y'all. So today we're finna react to another loyalty test. This time, this loyalty test is from Soulless J. And this, and also another thing, this loyalty test also has Shamar in it. Now, listen. I don't know where this finna go, but we finna watch, man. If you haven't already, man, like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and let's get into the reaction, man. Let's go. In today's video, we are doing something completely different. Wait, wait. So you already found out that he's cheating? Yes. If you're new to my channel, I basically set people up on loyalty tests to help them figure out if their partner, if put in the right situation, would cheat on them or not. But however, in today's video, due to the circumstance, I brought out a famous rapper to help us execute this loyalty test today. She got on bait. Okay. She got on bait. But before I explain to you... Listen, I ain't even going to cap. I wouldn't even classify, classify Shamar as a rapper, bro. Like, like, I ain't like on no hating, you know what I'm saying? Type, type shit, bro. I ain't on no hating shit, bro. I wouldn't even classify Shamar as a rapper. She probably more of a, I said she, oh my, he. Shamar is probably more of a comedian in my eyes, you know what I'm saying? A, a rapper, I don't, nah, man. But I ain't gonna lie, that, that song he just played, it's all right, bro. I ain't even gonna cap. Explain to you how we got to this point. I'm about to introduce you to a girl named Moni who will be telling her story in depth. I got a call from an unknown number, and it's his talent manager. I've met her a couple of times, and I was okay with them working together closely. Wow. Because it's Moni. Who wouldn't be? But, anyways, I found out that they've been together for two years and she had no clue I was his girlfriend. As you guys can see, Moni's boyfriend is a manipulator. He's been telling her I'm his assistant. Assistant. Then we sleep in the same bed for five years. And I assist him. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Dating your manager is really bad for business, bro. Like you shouldn't, you, you shouldn't be cracking your manager, bro. That's not what, fool. So, and look, he was in the clear until he decided to get her pregnant. You got your manager pregnant, you, bro. Who, who, who is this nigga, bro? Wow. So you already know he's cheating. So we don't really even have to do much. You just want to expose him? Yeah. Wow. Okay. I actually want to call her so you guys can hear for yourselves. You're, you're going to call her? Oh, that's perfect. You can, you can do that. So I was just calling so you can tell your side of the story on how you met him and everything. First off, I've never messed with any of my clients. But he really manipulated me and made me feel like he was something that he really wasn't. Okay. So how long have y'all been together? I've known him for the past two years. Ooh. Okay. And who did he tell you that I was? He actually told me that you were an assistant. You were his assistant. Hmm, that's interesting. He never told me that you guys were actually in a relationship. Oh, that's crazy. Okay. Thank you for that information. And now you're pregnant, right? Yes, now I'm pregnant, unfortunately. Um, you know, this is really crazy because I just never expected him to be so dishonest and so disloyal. But what I feel like is that he took advantage of the situation he was ambitious and wanting to uh, get more jobs so he thought by flirting with me and then sleeping with me and taking advantage of me it would help him to get more more bookings so there you have it well how would that even i fool yeah i have a cloud chaser on my hands so at this point i'm pretty sure you guys understand how we got here but the biggest question still is why the hell did we bring Shamar into this? Basically, with all the trauma that he's put these two women through. <laughs> they told me that just exposing him on camera wasn't enough. They want to take it further. So Tay came to me with an idea because technically she's still his talent manager. So her plan was to tell him that there was a big opportunity on the table that he couldn't miss out on. So what we did was we had Tay make him believe that he was going to an audition. But the whole time we're about to leave him alone in a room with Shamar, who is going to be trying to seduce him. So we're here and I'll set up. Do you know? Hey, bruh, imagine. 
<laughs> Yo, imagine some more trying to seduce you, my nigga. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. That would probably be the most uncomfortable shit ever. Oh, where my boyfriend is by any chance? <laughs> I don't have a clue, but I tell you what, I sent you guys a decoy. He's about 30 or 40 minutes away. So exposing him wasn't enough. Tay wanted to know how far he would actually go to be famous before we exposed him. What up? I'm here for it. <laughs> Uh, 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 Lord, 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 Lord
All right, bro. Matter of fact, I think I think I might need to go check on her real quick. Like I said, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Y'all can see how desperate this guy is because with all the red flags that he's seen from walking in, he is still here to impress our decoy. So let's see how he reacts when he finally sees that the person he has to impress is Shamar. Terry. Yeah. Here go the special host. Shamar, Shamar, yeah. Terry, Terry, Shamar. I'm gonna let y'all okay. talk for a little bit. I'm up. And as you can see, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. If I'm auditioning for a show or something, and you mean to tell me that the person I gotta impress is Shamar, nigga, I'm immediately walking out the room. Cause what the f what? I'm I'm getting up and walking out, bro. Like if the host, if the special host is Shamar, bro, this is a, bro. This is a show I don't want to be in, bro. Cause what what? When Jamar came down, he was completely confused. You gotta hear it, right? Yeah. You do? <laughs> That's crazy. I'm just asking. So look, Terry, like I said before, this is Jamar. And if you want to be on the show, make that 6000 a week. I mean 6000 a day. This is who you have to impress. Wow, he's going for it. That's a damn shame. At this point, Shamar literally just took over the test because he started going off script from what we planned originally. For the first 15 seconds, he literally just stares this guy in the eye and then Quan just abruptly. The first 15 seconds, he literally just stares this guy in the eye and then Quan just <laughs> abruptly leaves. So, um, that's crazy. You gotta get from Yeah. I mean, you're cute or whatever. I don't want to talk to you, but I'd rather really just get to know you more. <laughs> you're so funny. You might do to me. You hear to me? Yeah. What you do? Come. Come? Yeah. So you basically do like funny shit, right? Mm. You ain't gotta lie. You ain't tell the truth. Yeah, bro. No, <laughs> At this point, all Shamar was supposed to do was confront this guy about cheating on his girlfriend. But I guess the instructions we gave him weren't clear enough because he took this test in a completely different direction. So tell me a little more about your show. My show is based on where um, I actually am an artist that I have like artists with me that I actually feel that I perform and we just, you know, go on tour and, you know, do our people in. Basically, we are the type girls. Uh -huh. So that's another. Are you gonna be at this one? Man, she been here for a month for every two. Show you how dumb it is. 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 This shit is so bad because Shamar himself couldn't even believe what he was hearing. Oh uh man. -huh. So if I if I was to do like some dance movie, you would be as a doing. Can I do the dance for you right now? Wait, 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 no, I was not prepared for this guy. Oh my gosh, no, please. Oh my gosh, 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 wait, wait, I gotta, oof, okay, all right, all right, here we go. Oh my fucking goodness. Holy shit. Can I do the dance for you right now? Good morning. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me move this right here so y'all can see clearly what this motherfucker just said. <laughs> Y 
you this bro, I ain't gonna lie, he's the type of person that will crack anything, bro. Bro, I'm pretty sure we bro, we all have a friend or know somebody who would literally crack anything, bro. He is one of them ones. Those are the type of me, those just bro, those type of people you gotta stay away from, bro. Anything walking is getting cracked by this nigga, bro. Like no way you just caught. There's no fucking way, bro. It's, I don't believe it, bro. This this has to be fake. This has it, this nigga gotta be trolling, bro. There's no way he just said that out his mouth confidently. And I'm pretty sure he had a straight face saying that shit too, bro. At this point, I think Terry made it very clear that he would do anything, and I mean anything, to get to where he needed to be. But right before we were supposed to go downstairs to expose him, this happened. So what I got to do to the Number one, you got to work for it. So you know what I got to Wait, close your mouth some more, please. God. Oh my gosh. This nigga, bro. This nigga needs to be stopped. I'm not going to lie, bro. He should be one of the first, bro. He should be frontline in the military, bro. These are the type of niggas that got to go, bro. Oh my gosh. No, no amount of money in the bro, bro. This nigga's about his bag. This nigga's about his bag, bro. When you ask somebody out there about their bag, this nigga's about his bag. Six bands to. These niggas are really getting seduced by Shamar before GTA 6. Faith in humanity. I ain't gonna lie. And to make things 10 times worse, I think Shamar forgot that he could have stopped right there. He didn't have to keep this going. He asked her, was there any limits to this test? Um, uh, is there any limit to this test? No, you can't. And she said no. And look, Monty, he took it and ran with it. I ain't gonna lie, some of y'all young niggas got no morals, bro. But that got none at all, bro. This nigga soul is this, bro. He said it better than I did, bro. Y'all have no morals, bro. Why? Who? Jane, I really want to know, is there people out here crack? Is there niggas out here cracking so hard, bro? It's no, I don't believe it. I didn't believe it until now. You got niggas like, you got... Bro, I be forgetting that you got niggas like Terry walking on this earth, bro. Those niggas need to get sniped right then and there, bro. Whatever they, they need to get sniped. It's no way you just cracking anything, bro. Shamar, bro, that's below, below, bro. That's the lowest of the low. It's, it don't get no lower than that, bro. No amount of money. No, no, nothing, nothing at all. I won't, bro. Bro, I'm bad. I'm. Let's keep this shit. That got nothing to do with me because it is time now to expose this soulless in cheater. All right, come on, go. Go, 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 Where you going? Where you going? Where you going? Where you going? Nah, where you going? Where you going? Where you going? Where is you? Where is your shirt? What was you about to do? What was you about to do? What, what was you about to do with? I'm really bad for that. Is is we really got niggas like him walking on this earth, bro? I'm really bad for, bro. How you go from money to Shamar for a bag, bro? Why are you telling me that you didn't even have a bitch? Why are you talking about it? Why are you talking Look at you, my nigga. I know your dad wasn't in your life. Can I explain what's going on here? Basically, your girlfriend put you to a loyalty test because we already know you cheated on her more than once and you have a girl pregnant. I'm sorry to let you know this, but you are a soulless cheater and this whole thing was a setup. 
Your face is going to be on camera and everybody in the world is about to see you right now. You're about to be exposed in front of the world. This was all a setup. Your career is over. Everything's over. You're like as bad as I wanted to show you all his face, I genuinely couldn't, bro, because this nigga could have sued the hell out of me. And for my last videos, y'all can see, I'm already fighting cases. Got anything to say for yourself? Do you have anything to say for yourself? You are a cheater. You have a bigger mom. Yeah. And then you, then you got a girl pregnant. Like, what's going on? Yeah. So you a hoe? Be honest. You a hoe? Let's get the f out of here. Let's go. All right, try. Fuck that shit. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't no hating ass nigga. And I mean no disrespect when I say this, but when I see Shamar, bro, my arms start itching for some reason, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. And it's fucked up to say that, but I just I just get the urge to just Nah, bro, this shit wild, bro. <laughs> So, oh God, so is, was that good enough for? I feel like that was great enough. That's the only. That's the only. I don't know how that went, great. but shit, hey y'all. It is what it is. Solid fucking cheaters for catching a solid fucking cheater. Look, you guys. If we get fifty thousand likes on this video, Shamar said that he will become my full-time security guard. So if y'all want to see that happen, I ain't gonna lie. If he become your security guard, bro, you're cooked, bro. You might as well keep one on you, your damn self, bro. Because I ain't gonna lie. Shamar not stopping nobody. She will get trashed, buddy. She will get trashed. He will get trashed, bro. I guess just like the video, because he's dead ass serious. But other than that, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Listen, man. Y'all be safe out here, man. Some of these niggas ain't got no morals, bro. And some of these niggas genuinely don't give a fuck. But look, y'all enjoyed the video, man. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Turn on post notifications. I'll see y'all next video, man. Peace. That shit was wicked, bro. I ain't even gonna hold you. Samardo, what?